put off the fire on the other side and immediately after a short time we made it clear and it went off but within a short time it came off and we saw a very thick smoke so we, de we decided or we made a decision so that uh, the, the fire cannot spread we make a, a fire break of uh, the fire so we, we, we decided to, make, to write the fire so that it can go and meet the other one but within a short time it raised up along the hill due to strong wind the wind changed uh, but the wind changed so uh, the fire was so strong such that we screamed so that we can be rescued because of the thick smoke which might, may, might would have caused even the suffocation Forest fires have become more dangerous worldwide and this is largely attributed to the changing weather patterns caused by global warming and human activities. However, in the case of this particular fire, it is suspected that the cause of it was human activity, though the exact activity is yet to be determined. Uh, we have it on good authority from some people in the community that it was started uh, by a charcoal burner um, and cinnamon sadly is notorious for a lot of charcoal burning and if we continue to allow people to do what they're doing uh, whatever the, it is they want to do in the forest and not check uh, on people's activities we, we're going to continue to have this problem so one fire can turn into if you know with the winds changing all the time on the mountain sometimes they're circulating uh, one fire can turn into several fires huge distances apart According to the organizations that helped put out the fire, the government has failed on its mandate to supply equipment and personnel that can be used to curb forest fire. At least 490 Kenya Defense Forces soldiers were involved in putting out the fire for almost a month. However, they did not have the required equipment to help put out the fire. Many were seen using clubs and pieces of wood in this very dangerous mission. Uh, the army, our KTF, I had about 150 KTF. I didn't mention that. So the 150 KTF, I was with them. They were with the power source, cutting trees, cutting stamp, molding stamps, bringing water. They were bringing water from the river, uh, the nearby stream, and all that. So we need also our, our politician to participate in our fire forest fire fighting because they only leave it to friends of the forest but we have never had even the area mp mentioning about coming even to see for the last three months just to see where why is the forest getting burned and talking to the public who are doing this they don't participate in that they leave it on the forest to to, to come and do everything here, which is not possible. Tana River, Kenya's largest and longest river, has its source on the slopes of Mount Kenya. Environmentalists warn that deforestation and forest fires may affect the water catchment areas located on the Kenyan peak. Mount Kenya. Tunaitaji Mount Kenya pia pia. E, sasa, e, tume, tume kwa kasi. Extinguishing fires, let alone forest and mountain fires, is an uphill task that has its challenges and most importantly, its dangers. Mount Kenya Trust Rangers worked fearlessly to put out the Ontulili and Moorland fires, but even they admit that they did fear for their lives at some point as the fire surrounded them. Kama kwa leo, moto ya leo imekuwa kali sana. Kuna mali ambayo tukua tumeanza kuzima, ilibindi tufuate moto mpaka kwa murima karibu juu. Kufika huko, upepo kakuja upepo mwingi sana. Kavurugu yu moto mpaka moto ikanja kutufukuzi. Nimetoroka sana. Lakini kufika huko, kwa bati mzuri, hawa watu wa tropical air, I got to spot while it was on his chopper. I got to tell him, I got to tell him, I got to Petrol really, it just explodes. So we had two, well, we had five guys yesterday that were very nearly burnt. What we were planning on doing was back burning down a valley. And we had, 
the, the people on the top of their ridge. And uh, suddenly down in the valley, the wind caught up like in a big dust devil and picked up. And then the whole, the whole valley was basically on fire from one end to the other. And now there were people stuck the other side. So we were very lucky to be able to have got them extracted. Um, and that was another good lesson to us. I mean, these, these fires can, can move very, very quickly and, 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 and be really very, very ferocious. The rangers were defiant in the face of great difficulty and heat as the fire raged on. Using fire beaters and jambers, and with the help of water bucket drops from the air, they spent entire days scoring the vast pieces of mountain land to ensure that they were able to contain the fire. Uh, we are feeding 400 people a day, every day, when we have a fire, fires like, like this recent one. Um, the aircraft are doing between two uh, pilots doing anything between 12 and 15 hours a day. Those hours, um, they, Tropic Air being Tropic Air and very generous and caring about the mountain, give us almost at cost. But almost at cost is still, it is still a, a vast sum of money and we, we, um, we've clocked up nearly 40 hours. Um, and there, it's, a couple of, it's nearly a couple of thousand dollars for each hour. We've got to work out now how to how to deal with that and we've had some pledges but we still got to uh, figure out how we how we make up the difference and um, frankly it's time for national government to step up and make some contributions um, it's uh, we can't do it on our own and uh, this is a national resource and we need the government to respond and to respond more quickly and to um, accept that we are the ones who are going to get things in motion and they can rely on us but when it gets worse and when it goes on for a period of time this is something they absolutely have to do um, in order to to save our protected areas will the government invest in strategies that can help forest rangers put out such wildfires on time or are we as a country ready to suffer drastic climate change due to the lack of forest cover attributed to the fire